Mike Jello from WDW Radio, and I'm here at Disney's Hollywood Studios with some old friends celebrating the 30th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back in the annual Star Wars weekend. Very, very exciting time. Again, standing next to some old friends, R2D2 and C3PO. Looking forward to everything that Star Wars Weekends 2010 has to offer. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too. Studios getting ready for the Clone Wars Behind the Force. Hosted by Ashley Eckstein, it takes a look at some of the magic of the voiceover work behind Star Wars The Clone Wars. Right? Uh, I got to do a line as Boba Fett once, and you know, he means a lot to me. You know, I got to, and I got, I got to do Admiral Akma! It's a trap! <laughs> and, uh, I got to be Grand Moff Tarkin for something. It was like, you would prefer another target to a military target than name the system. <laughs> no, it was fun. But, and uh, so I go in there and he hands me the script and uh, all the highlighted lines were Yoda. And I said, what, what, you know, who's is this? And they're like, he says, it's yours. He said, oh, I didn't tell you, you're Yoda. <laughs> and they brought me to a few minutes later. <laughs> I, uh, I, I said, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Joking, you are not? <laughs> Don't let it out of your sight. 
I'm sure that when fans, especially young girls, come up to you and get a chance to meet you at events like this, it's got to be great because if you close your eyes and listen to you speak, you are Ahsoka Tano. Oh, yeah. Always in time to save your life, Sky Guy. <laughs> um, you know, to me, it is a dream come true because actually, when I was cast as Muffy on That's So Raven, I, I did the show off and on for four years. and. I just fell in love with children's programming. I realized the impact that you can have on a child's life by doing something, you know, positive programming for kids. And when I was cast as Ahsoka, it was just, it was, like I said, the dream role because, you know, she, she just proves that girls can kick butt too, you know. And concludes a very quick look at just some of the events during Star Wars weekends here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Whether you are a Disney fan, a Star Wars fan of any age, there's something for you here. From the Jedi Mind Challenge to the Hyperspace Hoopla, celebrity autographs, the motorcade, merchandise, and so, so much more. It takes place four weekends a year, every year, every summer at Disney's Hollywood Studios. For more information, visit DisneyWorld.com. I'm Lou Mangiello from WDW Radio. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.